Hello y'all and welcome back to another episode of Big R Outdoors. As y'all can see I'm in the deer stand today, but uh, I ain't seeing nothing. So I wanted to tell y'all about today's episode. Today's episode is about opening weekend and about the stud of a buck that my boy shot, my oldest boy. This was his first big one. We seen this buck the weekend prior on youth weekend. We had some hogs at the feeder. This deer came out. He wanted to go to the feeder. These hogs have been pretty bad on our feeders this year. We have been in a drought since early summer. Uh, we haven't had, we had no rain really all summer. It has been a bad drought. So the hogs really have nothing to root around in. Uh, they don't really have much to eat for them. So feeders we got joining leases beside us and everything so they've been just all over the place eating on these feeders we have moss made triple crown in our feeders that's what most of us feed on this lease and triple crown is corn roasted soybeans and peanuts hogs like it but deer absolutely love it and this big buck when we seen him on youth weekend he wanted to come to these feeders and eat this triple crown but the hog was on it he, he's not gonna come in here with hogs deer ain't gonna come in here when their hogs are in here opening weekend on that Saturday we seen hogs and we wound up shooting two hogs off of two different groups Saturday evening that night none of them hogs came in which was great for us that means that corn was still on the ground and that big buck this was his area he wanted that corn it was real foggy, as you'll see in the video. Um, we sat here for an hour before we could even see the feeders. The feeders were just covered in fog. I've got one at 70 yards and one at 50 yards. And uh, when I finally lifted enough to where I could see a deer down there, when I finally seen that it was him, um, it, it was a surprise that, that that big buck was in here still. It's just... I had to get them hogs off the feeders. We shot them, got them off. They didn't come in at night. It gave that deer an opportunity to come in here and eat that corn. So that's kind of what's going on here. Just wanted to give y'all a little backstory on it. Because uh, I really didn't plan on filming. Because uh, I had been all week and just wasn't seeing nothing really but hogs. So uh, and I just, there he was. I had to cut the camera on him. But y'all sit back and y'all enjoy this. And thank y'all for watching. Right here, Big R Outdoors. Thank you. 
Now, what I was talking about, the triple crown, that these deer love it, this is no joke. Right here, my boy, trying to get the gun out of the window, he hit the walls of the stand. And this deer is at 50 yards. And this deer heard him hit the walls and he jumps back. It was so foggy, I thought the deer actually ran off. All I could see was his tail go up and he bolted off into the woods. I didn't know till later on looking at the footage that the camera was still on him that he just ran to the edge of the woods and he stopped. I thought the deer was gone. I sank back down in my chair. I was sick. I just knew that this deer, he wasn't coming back. But he wanted this triple crown so bad. I'm not just saying this because I wear a moss made hat. I'm just telling y'all the facts on this. That deer did not want to leave this triple crown. And he came back out. And even with us opening the window and getting the gun out the window, he's watch he's looking at toward the stand. He still wouldn't run. This deer wanted to eat this triple crown. He's still out. Hey guys, well it is the second morning of opening weekend and been a little slouchy on the camera work this morning. We just had the time change, got out here and it has been so foggy we really couldn't even see. The, well the boys have been asleep and just so happened the fog lifted on this right feeder. And to our surprise, a daggum deer was down there and Rylan, we just played the footage back. He put a good head on that deer. We're going to give him a little bit. We're going to go track him. I don't think he's too far at 270. Uh, that's a good deer. That's a real good deer. We're going to go see if we can get it. McCoy, what do you think? You happy? McCoy? What do you think? Anything you want to say? You still have sleep, ain't you? And you want some Vienna, so. Huh? McCoy's thinking about McCoy's thinking about breakfast. We're gonna go find this deer and we'll cook McCoy some Viennas. So let's go get this deer.
There's some blood right here, man. There he is, right there. Folks, this is what we hunt, Southeast Texas. This is what we hunt. I'm pumped. You pumped? That's going to be his first wall hanger. Whoa. No, it's not, well, except it's for that hog. second hog. wall hanger. Your first year was, but that's a big buck, though. All right, let's go get him back. We're going to see if we can. We got the deer. We got the deer out of there. We found it. Daddy was in it pretty far back in there. Felt like we drug it two miles. But it was only about 200 yards. I'm pretty sure I died twice. What? Yeah, I did. Stay in shape, kids. Stay in shape. I'm lightheaded. I'm seeing spots. But, uh, ain't nothing a little coffee can't fix. Hugging hang zugu. Ain't nothing a little coffee and, uh, some Viennas can't fix. So, we got it. All right, well, we sat a little while longer. We ate some Viennas. That's our breakfast we have in our stand, so we just get this deer loaded up and get on out of here. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, if you got hogs in your area, that was we seen this same deer last weekend, a weekend ago. Literally to the well it was Saturday evening, this is Sunday, so a week ago we seen this same deer come out way behind the feeder down there. He's wanting to eat corn. There was hogs everywhere. We've been shooting hogs. These boys shot two last night, got them off the feeder. He came in to get him something to eat. Hogs will run. They won't run deer completely out. They won't come back no more, but deer ain't gonna go to a feeder with a hog there. They just lay down here where we at, Southeast Texas. Keep them feeders, them hogs away from them feeders. Them deer will come in. That's the proof right there. No pictures of any hogs last night after we shot. Corn all over the ground. We got this deer this morning, so. Well, hey, this is Diddy Bear. Hey. I'm Rylan. Um, and Big R. And I'm Big R himself. Yours truly. We've been loading this joker up. Get on out of here. Biggest deer in our lives and biggest deer on the channel. Where you get the sign? Hey, hold on me. Mm. Feel me. Well, hey, we'll see you load this deer and get on out of here. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoy. Like, subscribe. Let us know what's going on in y'all's hunting season this year. And remember, stay bougie, bougie, people. Keep it bougie, people.